Shia parties are heading towards an alliance in the next parliament that would give them the majority needed to form the next government. Iraqi Prime Minister Nouri al-Maliki's coalition and the Iraqi National Alliance, which groups the Sadr Movement and the Islamic Supreme Council, ran on separate tickets during the election. But now they're trying to close ranks to retain the power they enjoyed over the past four years. Concerning an alliance between the State of Law Coalition and the Iraqi National Alliance, we have made a lot of progress in our talks, but some details still need to be worked out. The detail, who should be prime minister. Maliki wants to keep his job, but he is unpopular with his one-time allies. It has been a main sticking point between the parties, and Hakim said they may hold an internal election to pick a premier once they announce their alliance. The prime minister should be accepted by all and has to deal with our regional neighbors. He cannot be a person who provokes the region. Is there a veto on Maliki? Muqtada Sadr has reservations about Maliki due to past experiences, and we hear similar reservations from other parties in Iraq. Iyad Alawi's Iraqiya list, which won mainly from Sunni support, came out ahead in the elections, but it only got two more seats than Maliki's coalition. The Iraqi National Alliance came in third with 70 seats. Not one bloc got the majority to form a government on their own. What kind of participation is the Iraqiya list going to have in the next government? Iraqiya represents most Sunnis who are an integral part of the country. We won't exclude a main party from government, and all should take part in decision-making. I cannot say if Alawi's chances of becoming prime minister are slim, but the Kurdish alliance expressed concerns about some on the list of Iraqiya, and others also expressed concern. The Kurds are making their position clearer. Jalal Talabani, the Iraqi president, said Kurds can be expected to join the Shia blocs if they unite. This means a Kurd-Shia alliance could yet again dominate Iraq's political landscape, leaving Sunnis feeling politically marginalized. But Shia parties are insisting on a national partnership government. How power is shared will either foster or destroy unity. Zana Khudr Al-Jazeera, Baghdad.